boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Burnaby from Easterby Elementary School where I teach transitional kindergarten. And I brought my moose to story time today. Boys and girls, I love muffins. One of my favorite flavor of muffins is blueberry. What's yours? Today I'm going to be sharing a story titled, If You Give a Moose a Muffin by Laura Nemiroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. I see muffins on the cover. Let's count them. One, two, three. I see swirly curly lines that represent steam. That means the muffins are still hot. If you give a moose a muffin. This is a dedication page. It says, for Alice and Emily, the two best sisters anyone could possibly want. Laura Nemiroff wrote that. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. I see it right there on the refrigerator door. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all done, he'll ask you to make more. Look, he's wiping his mouth. He has good manners, wiping all the crumbs away. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. I see leaves in the air. I wonder what season it is. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're all done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and some paints. I wonder what he's making. Then he'll ask you to make the scenery. The scenery is the background for his puppet show. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his big antlers will stick out. So he'll ask you for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll 
will use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. I see the mother outside. I wonder what she's doing. go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. There's mother with a rake and sacks, probably full of leaves. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. Boys and girls, you can extend this story by baking muffins with your family or drawing a picture of your favorite part of the story. Thank you for listening to If You Give a Moose a Muffin.